Welcome back to Pole Barn Garage, where today we are about to dive in to these steaming piles of LTD. So what I've done here is I've purchased two LTDs. Candidate number one is this Blue 76 LTD, 460 power, automatic of course, missing a few bits and pieces here and there. Looks like uh, it's got a tire, maybe. Um, I see parts in the seats, I don't know. Candidate number two is this red 76 LTD. Now this car is kind of odd. You won't be able to tell, but this car actually has four wheel disc brakes. That was a pretty rare option for these. And this one's 460 power as well. I haven't got the hood open on this one yet. One of these is bound to run and possibly drive. Oh, uh, it's a little brisk out today. I don't know if I want this one. Like most LTDs, they have vinyl tops. But this one doesn't have quite as much rot oh well yeah it does oh yeah, it's swiss cheese now i thought the blue ltd might make a good cop car clone and it's in probably a little bit better shape than the other one yes sir these are a couple of winners <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> well, that's fixed I did pass on this one here because it has a 351 modified in it. The other two cars are 460s. So, you know, the motors are worth something. Oh. Huh. Yuck. Hey, look. Pea jugs. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Ooh. There we go. All right fuel filter and some hose in the floor it's a bad sign I'm waiting on the guy to show up with the keys but we can at least get a look under the hood drive home for sure no doubt about it okay well I brought the wrong plug wires I know that already very rusty in here it's a spin yeah, yeah, it'll spin. All right, we're gonna need some plug wires. We'll have to see if we can rob some off of something else. Ah, oh, yes, the Motorcraft four barrel. What a piece of junk. What do we got for got oil? Yeah, okay. It's got some water in it or coolant or something. What we got for brake fluid. Yeah, we kind of got to make our. Uh, We've got to put our eggs in the correct basket here. I want to make sure I pick the right car, you know? Ah! Oh, hey. Yeah, it's got brake fluid. Well, in the front brakes. That's really all you need anyway. Okay, I'm feeling positive about this one. I don't know why, but I am. Why? Oh. That's a pretty good window. It stays up even when the door's open. Let's see if we can get the hood to pop. Oh. Well, that's that's gonna make this difficult. <laughs> oh. Well, I think we found the car we need to fix. Uh, it would be the other one. Mm -hmm. I do see a couple things we're gonna have to scavenge off of these other cars around here. Plug wires, we've already robbed out of that van over there. Second thing I noticed is the transmission lines have been butchered off of here. Uh, and that's, we're gonna have to find some fittings to the go into the radiator to connect those because without a transmission cooler, we're not going very far. Right, pull these plugs out of here. And that'll tell us what kind of thread we're looking for. And I don't even want to crank the car with those transmission lines open, or we'll just make a bloodbath. Oh. Hello there. Hi, friend. I think we might need to evict him. I was going to look back here and see if we could find some fittings. That's the box the radiator was in. That car. Oh my god. Two carburetors back here. Take right care. Carburetors usually have fittings. Ah. Oh. oh. Yes. This is for good. I don't know. Let me go see if the thread's in there. Will we be so lucky? No. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Yeah. We'll just, yeah. We'll just give him a hand. Yeah. 
over there somewhere. I'm, uh, I'm not super confident uh, on finding anything in here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nope, no fittings in the glove box. Ash tree? Nope. How's raking the kindling going? Oh, fantastic. Oh, good, good, good. It's really good for the lungs. We'll need that when we start to light this baby up. Okay. Anything here that looks likely? Maybe. These are those fittings I found in the trunk of the red car. I don't know what the hell they're for, but uh, there's that much on there and it fits inside a 3 8 hose pretty good and one clamp on there. I don't know how safe that is or smart this is, but I think it'll work. Mad Max, Mad Max. You know, we could go to the parts store, but mm -mm. no way. We just thread this in here and then we just tighten it as tight as it'll possibly go. And then we pretend we never saw it. And it was like this the whole time. And then when it fails, we'll blame someone else for it. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. We are missing um, most of the plug wires. Um, they've been devoured. We gotta find number one, which is this guy out of Ford. He's right here. Our next one should be number five. We're gonna put number four on with this nice brand new salvaged orange wire here. But I think it should work. See, we're recycling. We're actually the eco-friendly people here. Going through the plug wires here, and I noticed that it is out of the firing order's not correct on it. One, five, four, two, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, number six is swapped with number three. Uh, and just because I want to make sure she'll pop off, I'm going to roll it over to top dead center. We're going to see where number one points. You never know what's been done to something. Oh. Okay, maybe this is easier said than done. Oh, she got compression, that's for sure. Okay, you know what, actually? Maybe we just wing it until I can get a battery in it. We can crank it a little easier because I don't have a breaker bar. We don't have a tubing cutter to take these mangled ends off, so I'm going to try to cut them off like that. I'll probably have a good pair of channel locks, but maybe we can squeeze that opening back open. Uh, this one down here isn't quite as bad. I think I can just kind of massage it back into shape very carefully, you know. <laughs> oh, looky there. Have you ever witnessed such genius as mine? <laughs> I don't think so. I'm pretty humble. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna give that about 50-50. 50-50 that that stays on. You know, transmission pumps make a decent amount of pressure. Uh, I'm gonna cut the fuel line before we try to start it, just so we don't suck a bunch of crap up into it. I don't really wanna like actually get in here, you know? Pretty sure that's a fuel line. I can smell it. All right, I just snipped. Oh, something came out of it. What kind of fluid? Oh, varnish, Woohoo! Well, you know, it's important to be resourceful when you're out in the field. So I just found some vacuum line plugs. They were growing on a tree, actually. They really literally just grow on trees. And uh, yeah, so here we just have that off. And there we go. No more vacuum leaks. Yeah, let's hook a battery up, see if it catches on fire. Part of me kind of hopes it does. Yeah, well, it's not a flame yet. Let's go see if it cranks. Uh -huh. All right, you want to crank it? And I'll spray her. All right, yeah, keep her going. Come on, baby. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Choke stuck closed. Well, I'm not sure what's up with that. Bad spark, it has some kind of spark. Yeah, I just looked over here at the Dura Spark module and it is oozing ooze out of it. 
So let's pop that off and see if it has oozed all of the ooze out of it. And that might be a good place to start. Please be melted so I don't have to think. Uh, well, <laughs> uh, it's melty. I don't know if that's really our problem though. Uh, let's check out the wiring here. We'll throw another one of these on here just for grins. Uh, but that's probably not it. I think we need to revisit that firing order. All right, I've changed the goo device. And uh, let's see if we get any luck this time. Hit her. It should have taken off by now. Unfortunately, it was not the goo device. Now we have to actually look at it. I just pulled a plug out of it. They're pretty nasty. I'm pretty low on solvents and whatnot to uh, clean them with. However, a little good old gasoline in a bottle can probably do the trick. So yeah, these are uh, not good. Um, and if I would have been smart, I would have just brought a set of plugs. But we're bad maxing it. The gas should eat that varnish off. And then we can clean them up, throw them back in. All right, so I have a wrapper from my donut this morning I had for <laughs> breakfast. I have an ice scraper. And a little bit of gasoline. Is it ideal? No. Will it work? Probably not. I'm going to get them as clean as I can and then just give them a little spritz of brake clean to rinse off the rest. But that's that's to the point where it'll probably fire now. Well, we're going to go ahead and pull all the plugs and clean them. But before we do that, I'll have Jess bump this thing over and I'm going to stick my finger in the cylinder here until she pops my finger out. My finger is in the hole. All right, I think that's it. Oh my God. Liquid it is blue all over my finger. I think we washed a bunch of varnish out of the runners. That was number four, and it is nearly completely bridged with goop. And so I think we gotta flush this thing out. I'm gonna spray brake clean in here and try to flush these holes out. So go ahead and crank. All kinds of crap coming out of there. Let's try to throw the plugs back in and see what happens. Come on, baby. It's the real stuff. He's trying. That's the best we've had yet. Just fill her up. Yeah, that's good for it. Come on, baby. All right, hang on. Ooh. All right. Okay, this is good enough for me. Let's hook up the boat tank and a fuel pump before we totally kill our battery. We'll just put this back here. The Jag tank. Oh, dude. What? Are you saying that that's dry and combustible or something? I'm not saying a thing. There we go. See, we can grab a tail light right here, right next to this mud dauber nest. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> I was just getting ready to hook the fuel line up here, and I took off the line here and noticed that there's a lot of varnish. I'm going to spray this fuel filter out. Just try to get ahead of some of the problems we're bound to have. Oh, God. Yeah. 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 Oh, boy. Well, that's rebuilt. Well, now to run a completely new OEM fuel line. Ah, oh, yes. Flawless. Perfect. We're all hooked up here. Our fuel line runs through here. Yes, yes. Through the cabin. Crack this window. Out through here. Along the cowl. And directly into the carburetor. I didn't figure I needed a fuel filter. It's probably clean, right? It's probably fine. I also noticed that the heater hoses were unhooked, so I just stuck them together there very, very professionally. We're going to turn on the headlights, which will turn on the fuel pump, and we'll see how much gas pours out of the vent tubes of that carburetor. I hear it clicking and clacking. Oh, now it's spraying gas out of things. Come on, baby. A good girl. She's a runner. She's a 
shake? It runs like shit. <laughs> it runs awful. <laughs> But it runs. It's it smoked a little, but not bad. It's probably healthy. It just needs driven now. Yeah, that's a problem. We made an emergency trip into town and got the wheels changed over because the hub is different on these LTDs. For whatever reason, they have a really big hub on them. And I knew that, and I kind of just forgot about it. Wait a minute, that's a directional tire I just put on backwards. Take two. We'll throw these things on here, get it back on the ground, start it up, check transmission fluid, see if it has any hope of moving. And we're running out of daylight. We're probably gonna have to come back tomorrow. Oh my God, it has no shocks. Oh no. Very good. We'll dump a couple quarts in it just to be safe. Oh, it's this. EGR. I don't think it has brakes anymore. It does not have brakes anymore. Okay, well, it had them for a moment. for that well we definitely blew a brake line which is not surprising that kind of changes things now yes it will run and drive however i think we gotta haul it home so why don't we haul one home tonight and then we'll come and get the other one tomorrow back out here with JD to pick up the blue LTD. We called the red one home last night. Now we're gonna come back and get this one. We'll take it home and throw a brake line on it. Uh, it looks just as terrible as it did yesterday. Uh, it's just as disgusting as it was yesterday. <laughs> yeah, that worked pretty good, actually. Yeah, this has no shocks. Yeah, I could tell. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need this. Be a nice ride. Ah. Well, let's see if we give this thing a bath, huh? Yes. Give it a little more sand. <laughs> Dalton, destroyer of car washes.
deep clean the upholstery. Why would we be by the burn pile? Ah. Oh my god. We must purify this. <laughs> I don't want to throw anything valuable away. So all that can go. Oh. Oh. Ew. Oh. oh my god. Oh, you got a good chunk. Oh no. Ooh. Fender skirts. Every LTD I've ever had has this kind of floor. Oh, wood roaches just scurried. I don't need to remove these pea jugs. There's a beetle there. Why are you you're, why are you trying to catch the beetle? Don't do that. This is probably as clean as that's ever going to be. Don't you think? Uh-huh, good enough. <sighs> Oh god, it's all in the air. Now we can install this where it belongs. There. Look at all that poop. Oh. Uh, What's that? It's a vertebrae. Oh god. Why are we pulling the carpet out again? Because it's satisfying? I don't know. It is? I'm not satisfied at all. Well, do you want to leave it? Not anymore. We've started something now. You're way farther along than I am. You know, because I'm not a very good YouTuber, I've neglected to mention that the car's been off the road since 1992. It doesn't show it at all. I feel like I'm getting a thousand tiny bites everywhere. Because you are. Allow me to move the pile of LTD away from the flames of purification. <laughs> Let's make this go away forever. The flames of purification. Now that the pile of LTD is in here, we have to fix the brakes. If you recall, it's the right front brake line that popped right on the cross member. Thankfully, there's an easy way to fix this. There's the proportioning valve. See that right there? And uh, one of those is going to be the one that runs over to the right front wheel. Now, I don't really want to get under the car. That's a lot of work. And you can see on these cars, there's a handy dandy gap in the apron right there. So if we just grab it and just run it right over the top of the engine right down to that caliper it'll work beautifully mm -hmm. big old stick a brake line tube i'll make a brake line and we'll go ahead and change the rubber hose on that side too just because i have it so we're just gonna break it loose here at the prop valve there's literally gonna be people in the comments like why don't you just do it right because it's a 76 ltd I can't believe there's still fluid in it. Hmm. Oh well. Then we'll just run our new one right through here. <laughs> Way easier. Nifty little S-U-R-R -R 
flaring tool. Basically three steps and you make a damn near perfect flare every time. While I make this brake line, I'm going to set JD to scuffing this thing up with a Scotch-Brite. Uh, you know, because we're going to turn it into a cop car, apparently. Because what else do you do with a $500 LTD? Dude, you're going to scratch the paint. Oh my god. Don't. Oh my god. Look what you did. So we're just going to run the brake line pretty much the way the factory did. Uh, oh. Just with a slight modification. <laughs> I would say more advanced, honestly. You know, like that. Uh, see? Right over the top. Oh, there we go. I mean, that's, uh, that's the way to do it right there. You can see, we just run up and over. Yes. Down into here where two safety zip ties zip tie that brake line right where it needs to be. We'll have to pop that bleeder open and see if we can bleed it. Okay. Nothing. Nothing? It's not actually coming out of the bleeder, but it's coming from the threads. That bleeder was full of crap. I cleaned it out. Let's see what happens now. Go down. Yeah. And it did nothing. There we go. That's more like it. Brakes are done. Pretty sure they work, at least a little bit. I tried to roll it back and yeah, it held it. That's good enough for what this car is going to do. See, the reason I own this car is not just because it has a 460 in it and it was cheap. I have always wanted to film a 1970s car chase. And if you guys are longtime viewers, you'll remember that Mercury Grand Marquis I bought as one of the cars I want, you know, big old land yachts chasing each other around. JD made some pretty good headway on the roof. Um, I'm going to get the rest of this vinyl top off. Scuff this thing up. Mask it, and let's spray it. Get rid of this Landau trim. No cop car would have had that. Frankly, no car should have ever had that. So we'll just gently remove it. Let's very gently remove it. There we go. Yeah, much better. Pull that off there. Gentle, easy, Daryl. I know what you guys are thinking. You're thinking I'm crazy and I'm just ruining this car. Just give me a second. Already looks better. Good deal. Of course, the doors and roof would be white on a cop car, so we'll just tape off on this line, and then we'll paint the roof white, this white, and just uh, ignore all of the slight issues it seems to have. Really small, minor things. Uh, a brilliant new strategy for painting this car. So we're going to paint the white on the car, which is the doors and the roof. And we're masking off the fenders and the quarters. Then we're going to unmask it while the white's still wet and then brush paint the black. That way we can get it all done because I have to leave town on Monday, which is oh, about 36 hours from now. We don't have time to do this even remotely correctly. Why am I using trash bags? Because I ran out of masking paper, you see. Mm, yes. What is our coating of choice today? Well, of course, Van Sickle. If you use the hardener, it'll be super shiny and durable. So we're going to use that. And this uh, this is going to look pretty good. It's just what? I'm going to dump this in here, spill it everywhere, make a giant mess. And uh, yeah, see, there's the spillage. You see the spillage, Jay? Yep. Yep. So you got to make the mess. If you don't make the mess, it's not going to be a good paint job. I have eight parts of tractor paint. I'm going to add one part of the catalyst. That's about a pint per gallon. It's pretty cold out, so we're going to be a little more apt to get runs. So I'm not going to reduce it too much, but I am going to reduce it enough that we get a decent flow out. Uh, with a little nap, the oh, that's about yeah, that's ten percent right there on the on the money. Yeah, I think I nailed the consistency of that. That's a nice looking flow out there. It's dripping, maybe just a hair thin. It'll work for our purposes of not caring at all. So our temperature is about forty-five degrees, which is about thirty degrees too cold. Uh, the car is prepped immaculately. Uh, you're, you know, I might use a tractor thing. So yeah, it's gonna be fine.
So here's stage two of our plan, right? There's three of us and one car. Well, I want to make sure that we have partner in our paint. So I'm going to mix up three quarts. Well, not, maybe not quite full quarts, but I'm going to mix up three cups of paint here for each of us. And then we'll attack it with paint brushes. So you're going to be if you're look at look look at what you're seeing right now. Okay, okay. I mean on uh, you know other channels you might see someone spray a car. You might even see someone spray paint a car. You might even see someone brush paint a car. But would you ever see them do all three? You're gonna this time. Do 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 do. Time to make a mess. Huh. Get in there. Oh. That wasn't that bad. Now we're not going to reduce this because we're brush painting it, fix it, and leave it as thick as possible. That's going to help us when it comes to brush painting. Behold! The white. Looks pretty good. How the hell I was able to just drown this thing in paint in 45 degree weather and not get any runs in it without prepping it, I don't know. Imagine the car driving by you at like, you know, 30 miles an hour on camera with, you know, a flashy light and then porn music playing. That's all it has to do. We were just trying to keep the white off of what we're painting black just so it doesn't make a big mess. Yes. That looking, huh? Oh, just fantastic. Oh, it's going to work great. It's going to be perfect. Lay it on plenty thick. Oh, yeah. Plenty thick. It'll dry someday. Come grab a cup. We got about eight acres of car to paint here. <laughs> oh, we're painting the trim? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you don't got to be. Oh. No, don't paint the grill, you know. And huzzah! <laughs> Instant cop car. Look at there. Oh, well, we could be impersonating the law in no time. Never mind the brush marks. Those will flow out for sure. This paint's probably going to take at least several decades to dry. But uh, we'll come back tomorrow and pull her out. See what it looks like. Good morning, deputy. Good morning. Anyway, we got to paint a star on the side of this thing and then go bust some bad guys. Well, I was going to have Jess paint a star on the side, but she didn't feel too good. So in lieu of her talents, I had her, she did cut us out a stencil. Then I guess I will try to paint the star on the side. That's going to end great. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Highway Patrol. <laughs> Perfect. What do you think? Looks Better. pretty dang good. Better than it was. Yeah. It'll look good on Hollywood Magic camera anyway, right? There we go. Mmm, pretty. Yes. It'll it'll do. Looks like a three-year-old did it, but it'll be fine. I've had this bubblegum light laying around forever. Car's frankly not deserving of it. This light is worth more than this entire car. We're gonna have to drill a, a small hole. No big deal. Mm-hmm. Ah, yes, you see? Uh-huh. There we go. Now... We'll just very carefully put this in there. Very carefully, like that. Mm -hmm. Very, very cautiously, carefully attach this with self tapping screws. I found this random yellow wire in the dash that has some power on it. And we'll just go ahead and make this a quick release, you know. Uh, just twist them together and, you know. Yeah. I'll buy a toggle switch for it eventually, but I don't have one right now. Oh man. Come on, deputy. Let's go on patrol. Yes. Brakes are really bad. I wonder why. <laughs> it's so bouncy. Also, it doesn't have any power steering. Oh. 
Come on, baby. Come on. Gonna blow the cobs out of her. Come on, baby. Is that floored? Oh, yeah. Oh. It's running horrible. There we go. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, my God. Yeah, you're fine. We're fine. I know, but. fine. Come on, we gotta get this back, guys. <laughs> it's so bouncy. It's comfy. I keep forgetting it doesn't have any shock. See, it drives pretty good considering. What is up with these brakes? I don't know. I've never, ever felt that before. Brakes are so nice. Oh, what <laughs> the hell? <laughs> oh my god. For some reason the brakes aren't healing themselves. I don't know why. There we go. We got her moments. Rookie mistake, really. That's bad. Yeah. It's dead. Uh oh. It's not good. Um. Can't get my coat off. No, it's going out anyway. Isn't it? Well, <laughs> deputy. Yep. <laughs> I have something to say. What's that? My mustache fell off. Damn. <laughs> Sometimes the squad car will just ignite. It's normal. Okay. Oh. 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 Yeah, that'll do it every time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What the heck? I hooked that up. Well, it, it slid. It's my fault. Oh wait, it did slid. Ah, fucking god damn! <laughs> That's hot! Why did you touch it? It melted the metal. Well, Deputy, I think we just have to sit here and wait for a second. Okay. After that little detour, let's just hopefully not have to walk home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's fun! Yeah. All right. We just got a 10, 11. Got to go. We've got a robbery in progress. Oh. Oh. 
Actually, they stop better now. Also, the throttle stuck, but don't worry about it. Oh. Well, that's why we have brakes. Why is the throttle stuck? Don't worry, citizens. We have everything under control. Okay, I should probably look at that, huh? Yeah. Hey, the bumper oh. fell off again. Oh. Who would have saw that one coming? Nothing to worry about, citizens. Yep. Everything's... <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Good job. Um. Uh. <laughs> well, deputy, you see, squad car maintenance is very important. Yes. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, that should rebuild that carburetor pretty uh, quickly. Well, let's let's fix the bumper too. All right, well, that's taken care of. Yeah, that'll do her. People don't even stop to help an officer of the law. Brake clean worked. Yeah, weird. My mustache is gone. <laughs> they got the lights off. Oh no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, the truck's open. What? How'd that happen? Ah. <laughs> Mission accomplished. This police interceptor just got weight reduction. A little faster that way. Put it right here next to this other one. So, would you say this is successful? Oh, absolutely. Just look at her. That's cop car right there. Yep. PD, I'm gonna need your gun and your badge. You're fired. Your badge. It's disgusting. Oh, God, what the hell? Today's episode has taught you anything. It's to stay out of trouble, kids. Don't do drugs and obey the law. Anyway, I don't know. We'll see you next <laughs> time on Pole Barn Garage. Whenever. Maybe one of these days, you will see this beautiful LTD smashing into that Grand Marquis. The Grand Marquis is waiting for it. We'll fill that baby full of moonshine and chase it with this.